Welcome back, IP5. I hope you are doing great, you are staying safe, and you are feeling good. I hope that you are doing your homework as well. If not, please do it. And today we are talking about Microsoft Excel. This is lesson number 13. Okay, so as you remember, our graph is here. So you can insert relevant information like name, weight, and height, or any information that you think about. You can create formulas for calculating and finding the sum of the total students in the class. So this is the sum. So you can see we have the sum for the weight, we have the sum for the height, we have the sum for the math grade, science grade. So the sum is all these factors adding together. Average, average tells the average number, tells the average number you can choose all or from a certain cell to another. So you can see the average. So the average weight is 60.5. The average height is 159.07 and so on. The math average is 12.85. Science average is 16.21. Calculate min and max. That means minimum and maximum. So minimum is 30 for weight, 140 for height, two for math grade, 13 for science grade. These are the minimums. Maximum is 100 for weight, 185 for height and 20 for math grade and 20 for science grade. You can create charts in Microsoft Excel as well. So here we can see a chart that I made using the information we have. And you can see we have age, height, and weight. So when we look at the, at the chart, we can see the blue one stands for age, the orange one stands for height, and the gray one stands for weight. And we can see in the chart the relationship and connection between each student and their weight and their age and their height. So we can compare all every student and all these three elements, age, height, and weight. How can you insert the table is uh, the graph or chart is you go to the insert tab here, insert tab, and you find this area which you can add the charts as you like. Create charts in Excel, column chart. These are called column charts, which are good and useful to use for comparing different characters or, or different factors or elements. Next, we have the line chart, which we can see the differentiation or the change over time. And this one is the pie chart, which is useful to help other graphs, 
to help other graphs to vi be visualized better and understand better and mostly is used by number or percentage. So now let's open our Excel and make our own spreadsheet. Insert information and data. Finding the average of the weight and height. Insert a chart indicating the highest, heaviest, shortest, and lightest students. So, okay, let's go to our Excel. I have already one. So we can see, I will redo this part. We can see the information. I have already given you, um, I have already made the table with the information, the names, the age, the height, the weight, and you can continue if you want to add some more uh, information, you can. Don't forget, you can use the tools to make it more compressed so it doesn't take too much space by double clicking on here. Or if you want all of them to be the same size, you can also do that. Now, let's calculate first the minimum weight. So what we have to do is type in equal, write min, and select the number that we want and press enter. So now we know that the minimum age in the class is 11. Now we do the same thing. So don't forget the trick. We have this trick to use to get it automatically or the longer version is just typing it by itself. equal min equal min and then you have to select and enter so we can see the minimum is 110 kilograms again equal min from the start to the end so 23 is the minimum weight Sorry, this was 110 for height, centimeters, 23 for weight, kilograms. Now let's try max. Again, equal max this time. Click on it and you select the numbers. So the maximum age is 16 years old. Now let's try max. The maximum is 60, uh, 165 centimeters. Max. And the maximum weight is 64 kilograms. Now, what we have to do is, we already found the minimum, maximum, let's find the sum too. Sum is 184 and the others are this. Now, now we already have found the average height and weight and also age, we have found that. Now let's try to make a chart indicating the highest.
So what we have to do, we go to the insert tab. We click any graph or table or chart that we want. We select it. We have to wait a bit. Sometimes, okay, one more time. Okay, so we have gotten our table now. Now, when you get your table, you can edit it obviously here as you like. You can have it like this. You can choose the design as you like, as you think it's fit for your table. And you can use colors as you like, choose the color that you think it's best for you and for your table. Here we can choose the legends, the, the description of your table. We can change the look a bit like this or like this. We can add the name and write chart. We can see here are the names of the students and we already know the max. So the max is number 16, which is Jonas. About the age, the age is Jonas. However, for maximum weight, uh, height, it's 165, which is Han, which we can see here. All right. So that's that about the editing your chart. You can add some elements here. You can add some extra description to have a better understanding for the readers. So these options help you to add more information to your table and to adjust it as you want. You can have the options as you like. Now, let's make the same, but this time let's make a pie chart. So as I told you, pie charts are helpful for understanding information. So it's better just to have one variable. So when you have one variable, it should work better. So let's try this. So we can see the different age for each student, which usually we don't use the pie chart like this because have too many options and the percentage 
or the number is not too different. So it's not very under understandable. We use this when the difference is higher. So we can see like a, suddenly a big piece of, uh, we can say like a pizza, a big piece of pizza here and then a very tiny one here. So it's more useful to look at it and see the difference. Now, let's try this one more time for for the age. So we can see here that Han was the highest, right? Han had the highest So the highest was 165, which was Han, yes, for the height and also 64 for the weight was Matt. So we can see it right here on the chart, which you can add the names of, of each. What, what does it stand for? What's the orange one? What's the green one or what's the blue one or what's the gray one, you can set the name. Uh, it's important, set the legend. So for example, let me when you go to insert, you select and you add. So you can see I selected it from the start and we can see age, height, and weight, okay? And we can see which is the highest or the lowest in the chart. So now for your homework, Create your own spreadsheet. Use the same information I have given you in the, this presentation. If you like, you can change the number so you can have different sum and average and min and max. Try to create charts and take a photo of your spreadsheet and upload on the e-learning platform. The due date is Thursday on 30th of September. And don't forget the average, the average, you just write equal average, click and just select, that's all. And just like this. So, don't forget this homework, please send it by 30th September. That's all for today. Thank you, take care, stay safe. See you next week. Bye-bye.